Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to FTL. We're going to fire up a new run here. Uh, I think we're just going to do the base content, just to simplify it a little bit. Um, yeah, let's just do this, this base run on normal, and, and we'll see where we get. So if you've never played, you're basically a ship. You've got a top secret message, and you're trying to get back to the rebel fleet before the Federation catches up with you. So we got our different people, each doing a different job. And let's power up the weapons there. Uh, let's see, let's, oops, wrong button. Continue. Let's remind ourselves the cost. So this is a currency called scrap. Scrap is important for upgrading your your ship and purchasing other things like fuel, missiles. So the Artemis missile here takes a missile. This just takes energy and time. All right. So the idea is, from the left side of the map, they'll start to come and not, we won't be able to progress and use these nodes once there. We have to get here before it gets covered up, but we want to take we want to take the longest route we can to get there to get the most reward from the map. So we can see that if we come down here, it'd be a dead end, so we don't really want to go there. But we can come around this way. So let's start with there. Alright, so we got an option. Uh, distress beacon is coming from a civilian ship. It appears to be chased by a pirate. Let's help the civilian ship out. So you power up the weapons and engage the pirate ship. So now we can select where we want our weapons to shoot. And you can see they have a missile and a burst laser there too, so let's... Once we get our weapons to charge up here, we'll take a shot. So we have a burst laser 2, so shots per charge 3. So we shoot the missile there, and then our burst laser there, so you can see we've depowered all of their weapons. So now we can take our engine guy and go and repair. him back in his spot. Oh. I forgot to have my weapons up. Okay, so now now that we've beaten them. Oh, we got a... The, sh the ship you save is badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off at a nearby station. One offers to join your crew. Welcome aboard. So, this guy is a mantis. You can see they do more damage and they move around faster, but they are not as good at repairing as the default people. Um, so we want him to be in a fairly central place, which I guess is going to be shields. The reason I wasn't using my missile as much is because I want to... My thought is to try and conserve some of the... The missile count, because you know, it's a limited number. So as soon as this is loaded up, or fixed up here, we can... Uh, we can actually, let's grab another power bar first, so we can pop that in the engine. So now we have a 10 dodge instead of a 5 dodge. 
so now oh there's a store there I should have looked Have to go there, but I have to go hit the store before I can hit that node. But I can kind of come up and around, get, try and build some scrap up before we hit the store. Uh, the nearby planet shows sign of habitation and a great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its messages through space. Warning: Quarantine level five in effect under. FHA Act 22, Article 11.2. Warning, level 5 quarantine. So that's a dead jump. So here we can start to get the... the Federation coming after us. So I think we're going to... we're going to try and hit these... these three, and then... Let's see how much time we think we have. The rebel ship has been patrolling this region. As soon as you arrive, it begins its assault. Okay, so this is a drone. This is just going to keep plinking away at our shields. Um, let's take our missiles and fire at their shields. And we're going to hold our burst lasers until after our missile fires. Now we can fire our burst laser and get all three shots there instead of one shot being absorbed by the shield. Missile um, broke even on the missile count. We got a drone part and we got some more scrap. So, this is where the Federation is. This is where they'll be when we jump. So, let's try, let's try this nebula here and see what we can get in and what kind of trouble we can get into. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Advanced rebel. So that's our ships. So we don't know what's inside there. So we can... <laughs> we can shoot at it and try and get some reward, or we can avoid the broken. I'm, I'm going to shoot at it. So this is an ion weapon and a burst laser. So we'll just have our burst laser shoot there. Um, ions, when they hit, they're going to lock our shields down for a little bit. And so we took one point of damage from their laser. Um, if you get an ion shot through, you can lock individual sections, so you can stun someone's engine or their, uh, their weapons or their engine, but it doesn't take it offline. It doesn't do any damage, it just locks it down for a little bit. The station was apparently designed to outfit Rebel drones and we find a functioning schematic. So we got a anti-ship beam drone. That's pretty cool. So you can see they're getting a lot less progress because we're in a nebula. Okay, so this ship has a teleporter, a laser, so we're going to want to really... Oh, uh, let's see. I think we'll stick with our tried and true there, but we're going to want this guy to get on the doors, because they're going to teleport on. And then we can open that door and do damage to them. their teleporting room. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. The uh, civilian... The civilian uh, ship repaired us. That's pretty cool. So we're just gonna open the doors there. And have this guy... We open the doors up to get the oxygen equalized faster, and then we can have him go sit in the med bay. Get Chris's health all healed up again. Alrighty. So now we're gonna head that head to this store, because then we have to go down and around. There's only one other ship at this beacon, it sh it, and it is showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Okay, so... We got a couple pages here. We could get another burst laser. This is a Mark I, whereas our current one is a Mark II, but we have two more weapon slots we can outfit. Um, it requires two power, so we don't have enough power to, to utilize it currently, but we can upgrade that. It takes, it only shoots two compared to our three. Uh, this one does twice the damage on systemless rooms, so instead of, if you use it to target an empty room instead of a room like an engine's room or a, a cockpit, it'll do twice the damage. It'll do two points of hole damage instead of just one. Um, so the defense drone is pretty cool. That will shoot down a missile that comes in. But we don't have enough scrap to buy that right now. So that, if we do that, that's going to have to wait. We can hire some crew here. The NG are pretty cool for their repair speed. Um, the Rockmen are good. They're immune to fire and they're tough, but they're slow. I think we might just... We need to decide... I think we'll, we'll skip out on the drones this time around. missiles and repair and then we'll come into our ship um, let's see here we don't currently need more more system power for our weapons um, having in a uh, having blast doors would be pretty nice so that would cost 50 so we could get our shields up to the next tier but we don't have enough to buy the power to really utilize that. Um, I think for now, let's grab an extra power for our engines. So now we have a, I believe, a 15% chance to dodge. So you can see if we stay, if we got here one turn later, we'd be having to fight. So we're going to continue on to the next zone. Okay, an unidentified ship is badly damaged and it's still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you just sit tight. We can accept the bribe of a missile, a drone part, and seven scrap, or we can try and be a hero and attack. We can see that they have a crew teleporter, and that's important. Um, I think I'm feeling pretty good. Let's try and be a hero and attack. Pirate ship stops its pursuits and locks weapons onto your ship. Okay, so once again, we're gonna get this guy into the door so we can. Oof, that's that's not good. We have no way of venting air unless we open up other systems. Let's take our missile and target their shields and. Our 
laser and target their weapons. There we go. So now we're safe from their weapons. So we can fire and keep their shields on lockdown. So now they're just going to abandon their crew members, so we need to take their uh, engines or their... There we go. Pirate explosives by substantial collection of useful scrap. You go to examine the ship you just saved. Thank heavens! Thank the heavens you showed up. We don't have much to offer as a reward. But our engineer should be proficient to patch your ship up, ship up after a bit after that nasty fight. Well, that's unfortunate. We didn't. We, we could have saved some money at the uh, the last store if we would have known that. That's, gonna happen, but that's okay. Okay, so that guy's taken care of now. So now we can close all those doors. And he didn't stay on anything long enough to break anything, so we just gotta wait for oxygen to fill back in there, and we can put our mantis back in the shield room. I think so I don't have to keep... Well, nope, I don't have that. I was gonna say we should, you know, upgrade our doors so we don't have to keep throwing our, our mantis in there just to, to lock them in. But, obviously we don't have enough... Uh, scrap for that, so that should be good enough. He should be able to survive in there. Yeah, he's not taking all. Not taking any damage. So, okay, so now off to another nebula. Um, it's hard to see why, but this beacon is an apparent is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. So we can gain five fuel and lose two drone parts. Well, that's fine with us. We don't want to use our drone parts anyway. Oh, a slaver ship. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. So we could either buy one and gain a crew member. We can attack them or we can ignore them. Let's go ahead and try and attack them. Maybe we can get them to um, bargain with us a little from a more advanced position. So what just happened is this is a, a, a beam weapon, and so they hit in a line and go across multiple rooms. So our shields are completely down right now, but it's a good thing we just took out their weapons. So we're going to keep firing on their weapons. Oh, it looks like we started a fire in their shield room. So now they're trying to get away, so now we want to take out their engines. I'm actually going to use a missile to do that. Because if I fired my my lasers, we probably would have taken them out. So we can accept their offer and get a free crew member out of that. So this is Jack. Um, let's put Jack in the shield room, and then we can have Chris in there, and then let's get Emma healed up at the uh, the med bay real quick. All right. Oh look, a store. I think I have, I can get by with one more. Well, maybe not. I think if I go here, I could hit, I could get here before they got me. But I think they would catch me before I went, got to the end. So we're gonna just have to keep on moving. So a bomb is. They teleport past shields and defense drones, but they cost a they still cost a missile. So you can see in the tip down there in the bottom right. And you can even target your own your own ship. Um, 
allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon. That's pretty cool. We can't afford it, but it's cool. Uh, additional info, that's always good. I could, that could be good too. These are all, all really good. Um, so now we have, this is a, a quite the, quite the store here. We can't afford anything here. We can't afford any of these guys. We could sell our, let's see, this is, requires one power, normal damage, none, crew damage, 30s. Oh, so this doesn't even, oh, yeah, it says right there, doesn't hit, does not damage the hull. This is like an anti-personnel thing. So what we could do is we could buff our sensors and then just send bombs over and, and make the, uh, leave the ships Un unmanned and, and loot them that way. That could be fun. I think at this point we will just buy fuel and buy some missiles and continue on our merry way. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. So let's intervene and defend the uh, the fueling outpost. The rebel responds to your threat. I know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. All right, same old, same old. Let's take a send a missile to their shields, and then we'll send our burst laser on their weapons. So this this is gonna eat our shields, and then that's gonna do damage to us. Is that just take that. Oh, so we only got one one shot off before they damaged our weapon system. So we only got that's that's less than great. See, Jack just got some experience in the shield room there. Gumbo got some experience repairing. There we go. Let's have Chris get over here and so we can see their people. Oh, good, we started a fire in there. See, this would be the perfect time to drop a bomb in there, because we would completely... Oh, wait, no, there's still the guy up top. But... Ooh, this is really good. We got a... So this is going to get allow us to have more scrap every time we get a chance. So we got more fuel and more scrap. Alrighty. Looks like we're all ready to go. Yeah, we got out just in time, it looks like. Ooh! The beacon seems to be a meeting place for local traffic. It seems you can find crew willing to fight on your ship here for a price. So there's two mantises, and so we could hire them if we had just a little more scrap. And then if we got a teleporter, we could board the enemy ourselves. Alright. So the goal of the game is to get as far down as you can. Purples or nebulas. Um, let's go to the NG control. Those are the guys that are really good at repairing, but they're not, not super... Strong. You've arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times on these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Alright, so we got lots of options here. It looks like we can come down. Yeah, let's go down and explore that way. So we can buy fuel for a deal. This is only two. I think we last time we bought it, it was six apiece, so really probably ought to look out for these more often. Um, but we're doing pretty good on fuel, so I think we're just going to ignore that station. We can see here the scrap recovery arm is installed, which is pretty awesome. You arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck. A young mantis 
in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck, and he begs sanctuary from the NG, and offers to serve in exchange for protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal, and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Let's go ahead and, and uh, take the extra crew member. Oh! It was a trap! The Mantis sabotages your ship before teleporting away. So we got a crew full of Mantis, and you can see they have two shields here. Okay, so it's just the... the, the med bay right now, so that's okay, we can deal without that. Oh, they have a defense drone too. This is not good, my friends. Yeah. I think the way to do it, this, so the beams don't damage our shield any, so I think we just need to keep, we'll even turn auto fire on, we'll, we just gotta keep hammering their weapon system. Alternatively, we could shoot at their, their drone control and get their defense drone offline. But I think this is the safest way to go about it. Thankfully, since they're all Mantis, they, they repair really slowly. And so we can just get some... Uh, we can just get some weapons fire experience while we're sitting here doing this. Oh, they got one of their weapons back online. Oh. Interesting. Looks like it ran out of... So looks like we got a we got a free shot off just by waiting our turn, waiting our, biding our time for that drone part to run out. All sorts of stuff. All right. Um. Now, let's see. Which one is this? Save the positions. Now let's send three people there to repair that. Now we can go ahead and return everyone to their spot. Alright. I think... It'll be... Let's grab one of those and one of those. So now we don't have to have someone manned on the doors to keep people from running through. Once again, I really need to remember to check before I... Uh, check the map before I spend all my scrap. They're powering their FTL. If they get away, no doubt. Th so if they, if these guys, if we let these guys get away, then we will. Um, the the next rebel advance will be a lot larger. So we want to try to avoid that. All right. So we're gonna take our missile and shoot their shields, but they have, we can see they have a beam, and I believe this is also a beam, which means they won't, they have no way of getting through shields, so we can just target their engine. There we go. So now we can lock it down by shooting their, their cockpit. we go. So this next shot should be able to take the victory here. There we go. So we can just kind of bounce along the bottom of the map here. And A rebel ship is guarding this beacon. You order a pursuit course and prepare to scratch one more. Okay, so this this should also be. So this one has an anti-personnel drone. Um, it doesn't look like. Well, that might be able to fire more than one shot. We'll find out here in a minute. Nope, just the one shot. So we're we're good. Ooh. 
So by buying this extra point into shields, even though we don't have power and we don't have anything... Um, we don't have anything... So you have to... Every two, two levels of shield you purchase, you can get another rank of shield. But if we got hit by an ion or got damaged, then we have that little bit of buffer before... We have that little bit of buffer before we would then lose our shields altogether. Oh, I forgot I'm not on auto fire again. That'll mess me up. So by repeating, by taking their engines out, not only can they not get away, but it also because they're basically a sitting duck at that point. Um, three missiles is not bad, but I think we're gonna we're gonna make sure they can't tell people where we're going. The next volley should finish it up. There we go. See, we got less missiles, but more scrap by... So I think... We're gonna hit these, at least this one, maybe this one, before we hit that store. The Angie seem to have avoided this particular node, along with every other life form. You keep your eyes peeled for reasons why, but spin up the FTL without event. I think we can get away with one more. Ooh! Can't complain about that. So now let's head back to that store. And we'll see what we can get here. <laughs> A message arrives. Your scrap ours. Our weapons for you. You're just about to raise shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. Okay, so we can get a shield booster if we recover our shields faster. Uh, we've seen that before, and we've seen this before. See, here's the crew teleporter, which we can't afford, and the drone control. Coming with a free system repair drone is nice, but we'd have to sell something in order to make that happen. Uh, we're doing good on fuel, so I think we're going to buy some missiles. And let's repair a little bit. And now we can come in here. We don't have enough for that, but we can buy a power bar. So currently we can either choose to have an ion blast or the, the the missile effect, depending on what our situation is going to call for. See a, a transmission. Sorry, sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship weapon skill pot. All right, so let's have our Ion Blast target their shields. So I've stunned their weapons so they can't get anything. See, they have two repair drones as well as their crew members. Uh, no, I think we're just gonna blow them off. I think when we get to this exit, we'll call it for this first episode. Let's see. 
You look like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and could try to improve your reactor if you have extra supplies. I think that's a great trade. So we got a free, or not a free reactor boost, but the drone parts we aren't using, and so it cost us like 18 scrap, which is better than 25. So that's, that's awesome. So there's a distress signal here. I think we can hit that, let's see what's, let's see what's going on over there. Okay, we used the last of our FTL fuel to jump to this station. They indicated a burnt-out husk debris in warp metal. As you can see, the war started and must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. And that's why you should never run less than half a tank. Alright, we'll give them some fuel. Ooh, a firebomb. So the firebomb, self-teleporting self explosive designed to damage crew members and light fires can target your own ship. Requires two power, takes 15 seconds to charge. Cool. We might end up just selling that. Alright, now we're making a mad rush. Ooh, we got a solar thingy. Alright, um, this beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take Chris and put him up in there. And... While oh, this ship is... We can vent this middle section. And that one in case fires start there, but it's not set up. Maybe if we actually pull Chris down here, then we can get those rooms too. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, um... Let's wait till our burst lasers. So we got an ion, that's going to hit our shield. So let's have... So the ion travels slower than the burst lasers. So they hit our captain, so we're sitting ducks right now. Um, well, if we, it looks like we'll hit the shield with the ion. There we go. So we can see we got a fire started here. I vented all of these rooms so that we won't get any... Oof, this guy's gonna need some help. There we go. Okay, so now let's close all the doors. And Gumbo, let's get you into the infirmary there, bud. And let's get you out of there and just vent those vent that room into space, put the fire out. So we don't want to stay around here too long because these solar flares are just going to keep happening. We don't really want to leave with our weapon system damaged either. But we may not have a choice. We gotta wait till we get our, our cockpit up and running. I think we, we just gotta go. Hopefully we're not... Uh... Okay, looks like we're gonna be okay. It looks like this beacon is home to a rebel checkpoint. They're stopping and searching any ship that passes through. Civilians are being harassed by fe and Federation, Federation members are being are detained. The rebels haven't noticed you yet. Fend yourself, fend for yourself. Attack and escape. Bribe the rebels to release the civilian ships. Or fly behind the moon and stay hidden. Well, we're not in a great spot to take a fight, and I don't really want to pay, so let's try and fly behind the moon to stay hidden. Let's take Emma to the med bay and this dude. they're healed up, we'll send them back to their spots. 
Alrighty. Well, thank you everyone for watching this first video. Um, it may come out in two parts, just based on how long it took to get here. But we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.